and that's when I came to Australia. Yeah. So, I mean, that you've come out of, I suppose, pro football because even Gated at that point would have just about been full-time or near enough. No, oh, full-time. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, the whole coming out of full-time football at an age where you probably didn't expect to be out of full-time football. No. Um, I know that we've, we've kind of touched upon it before in conversations, probably is where we've had a few. Um, so life after football, were you prepared for it? I don't think you ever, you ever prepared, like, prepared for it. I mean, because after Aberdeen, I went through years of being out of football. Yeah. Because um, what, what, what happened was I... I wanted to leave that much. I mean, I was training on my own. Um, he'd put the uh, assistant manager in training before me and all that. I was just, I was, yeah, just getting paid to be a spectator, really. Yeah. Um, so I just says, look, I'm, I'm off. Um, it was my decision. Didn't even want to want to play for another club. Yeah. Just totally fell out of love with football. Um, and I, I think I had about a year. I'd say a year out of just doing nothing really. Yeah. Just you know, doing what lads do. Just um, in Sunderland. Yeah. Um got myself a little flat and all that. Moved moved um into the city and was just out all the time really. Yeah. Um a, a lot. And like I say, it was just back to reality. You're sitting there and you're thinking shit, you know, now what? You have to get a job? I did, mate. Um, I was just in sales and that for a while. and Like in the call centre or something? Aye, and, and uh, I just, uh, I hated it, but it w- I, I never had any support, like I say, from, yeah. from anyone. I mean, if, if someone, I mean, our aunt was my biggest influence and all that, and, and he, he he turned around and said, I think when I was Aberdeen, if, if, you're, not, if you're not in love with it anymore, don't do it. Mm. Um, but it, I didn't have anyone to turn around and say like, look, this club, I'm going to push you and try and get your clubs here. You, you know, yeah. as an agent should do. Um, and yeah, I had to go back to having a normal job, which was weird, really weird. Mm. Especially on the back of training for a couple of hours in the morning, that's the rest of your day. Oh, you got to get up. you you got to stay up at five. you got to hit your targets. Mm-hmm. Get back on the floor. Well, it was a worse shift in the world at the time. It was 12 till 8, wasn't it? So you couldn't even do it after. So oh, it was like, 12 till 8. Dog, 12 yeah. till 8. You, you could have gone to the Manakee, Dan. On a, on a Wednesday night, you could have gone to the Manakee. I've, 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 di- I've dipped my toe in there a few times. Oh. Me toe. I used to live in there. Oh, oh, that, that, that was the only, the only benefit from that job is you could go out on a night and have a lion. Yeah. But I used to, that Wednesday night, I used to live for it. Me and the boys are at Student Night Club. Whoa. Student Night. Tuesday and Thursdays. One. Aye. I used to take Thursdays off work. I used to put the holder in for a Thursday and I would put the top on a Wednesday night. <laughs> uh, but uh, that, that was the only benefit of that job. You could stop out. And you didn't have to worry about getting up anymore. more. Yeah. And, yeah then, and then Australia. So what, what happened? How come you ended up in Oz? Weird. Uh, One of the few lads who ended up across here that I didn't have a hand no, getting out. No, because um, we never really knew each. When I think we, no. you know, we obviously knew of each other, but we never, yeah. we never knew each other because for whatever reason, I can't remember, it was you were over there, and I think I was only I was slightly younger when I when you were here. So yeah, but uh, it was uh, Procky was over there. Yes, that's and right. I was speaking of Procky, and Cosy mentioned it. Luke Carr, who came over, he says, uh, when he was at Gateshead, he says, oh, I'm thinking about going up Australia. I says, all right. And I thought, fuck it, why not? Yeah. Um, and then that's when Dave Reed ran. Yeah. Was it, I was don't know if you're aware. I got, um, I, I got offered you. At, uh, when I was at Albany Creek. I was at Albany Creek with Nabby. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, don't tell me you took the day. Oh, fucking no. I won't, I won't go into details. I think me and you spoke about this before. That No, but no, I, I know. I know. You, there was a mutual little... friend who uh, didn't. That was I. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, and I said, look, it, it wouldn't feel right that there'd be uh, an issue between me and my mate. 
And um, if you made Abu Dhabi by any chance, Ben? I'll send Vanga. But uh, I, I said, look out of respect for, for someone I know. I, I, I can't. Um, but mm. I think you're getting a good player there. Um, how good a player I didn't realise until I ended up there the year after. So, but I, it, it, that, it did get brought up to me, and I said, oh, I can't happen, Mike. We had a really bad record as well against Ace, didn't we? Aye. Brutal. Yeah. Did, did we ever win on that pitch? No, nah, Fulham Park, not when I was there. No? No. Nah. I got sent off. <laughs> yeah. I think I, got, did we, I get we, sent off under you, Benny, at Ace? No, nah, under your hands. No, hands, wasn't it? Yeah. But, you know, remember, we played them. So, and sorry to turn this into a Holland Park fest, but it's going to end up being that anyway. It always happens anyway, man. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> oh, we, we went there and didn't Marek go clean through about five times in the first half. Oh, I don't After believe that. He missed Mary. so many sitters. He missed uh, promise and we ended up getting spanked in the second half. Oh, he Which missed it. Could have been five up, couldn't we? Did they investigate him for... <laughs> Bleep that out. <laughs> His first touch on one of them, never seen anyone clean through from the halfway line, end up with a yellow card for sliding in on the keeper. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, was through and then he took that monster touch, didn't he? Uh, oh, but, wow. Uh, so anyway, go, going back a, a year or two, right. you ended up at Holland Park in Capital League 2. Mm. So you just spoke about playing against Atletico Madrid and Bayern Munich. And you're lining up against Oxley United and <laughs> oh, Brisbane Athletic uh, Madrid. And we got beat against Oxley as well, I think. Remember? Oh, I no, did. it was the first. No, you did. Ipswich. Oh, Brisbane was, uh, Knight. Brisbane Knight. Brisbane Knight. Uh, but anyway, uh, it, was, it was weird. Like I say, I loved it though. Like, yeah. yeah. I think as long as I'm enjoying football, I'm not bothered where I'm at. Yeah. yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, I, had, mm. I, I had times, like I said, I'd have a day that. It was, it was terrible I used to chuck cities in I never used to want to go train yeah I, I was you, bad I was ill did you know like what sort of level you were you were in for like when you signed up there to start nah nah I mean it was more the fact of coming to Australia do you know what I mean it was it mm. was it was to to be there to be living in there and, just changed uh, it was and football was was just a bonus really um, I just really wanted to try something else you know to try and get out and because I think at the time I was just so bogged down with just it was so negative like negative you know what I mean a lot of negativity mm-hmm. about and I thought fucking I'm what better way to do to move to the other side of the world so. and you won the league first year didn't you and the grand final won the double double didn't we yeah yeah it's, so, it's, it's kind of like a fairy tale story for a Brisbane club it's like uh, just a mm. quiet night in Holland Park next thing you know there's a former Premier League footballer rocks up mm. and you know, play for right. this season it was good. As you say, I really, I, I loved my time in Australia, football-wise. Absolutely loved it. I think, I know obviously you'll touch up on it, Benny, but going to, to Penn Power was, as soon as I got injured, I never got going, did I? No. No. Um, but like you say, Holland Park was, was great. Um, doing it back-to-back and obviously Benny came in and brought Naby in. Naby was on fire and you know, it was good. Really good. Yeah, Some good training sessions there, eh? Fucking hell. Oh, man. Yeah, it was a good dressing room, wasn't it? Uh, wow. I, love, I love that, yeah, man. Love yeah. that, yeah. Procky, uh, Procky. Uh, remember, remember when I started just hammering Procky about culture and I was just having a crack at everyone and fuck. Oh, man. I, I, do you know, I live about 30 minutes away from Procky and I haven't seen him since Australia. I've oh, seen him once. Oh, oh wow. Honest. No, uh, because he... Um, I don't know. Like you say, you just you do your own thing. Like it's weird. Mm. But mm. Uh, I man, I, I think so. I loved. I loved that year. It yeah. was because um, I didn't. I, I think I made you captain. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if Dean Lepertie didn't want to captain or didn't want to play or whatever it was. So you yeah. were he wanted to go play something. Oh, he wanted to sit Church back or something. Or something wasn't it? But we we talked him into staying anyway. But he just didn't want to be captain. Mm. And um, we went on this massive run. Well, I think we've maybe won 11 out of 11 or something and we had a top of the table clash with uh, North Pine away mm. in the uh, afternoon. And we'd already lost to them. Probably, it was probably yeah. the biggest game of the year, wasn't it? It was the mm. biggest game of the season and it was that big. <laughs> Me and Naby had just been down to watch uh, Man City and Real Madrid and that. Yeah. And yeah. We flew back a day early to get back and have a night in on the Saturday so we're ready for the Sunday and this and that. 
me cutting, lads, decides he doesn't need a night in. I'm getting I need a night out. About four o'clock <laughs> in the afternoon on the Saturday, I'm sat there in the house and I'm just maybe he's watching something on TV and I get a message, it's a picture message, and it's from him. And it's him and one of the other lads who played Resi's, Dave Menace, and they're, they're on the drink. They're, they've got a jug in front of them. Uh, and I'm thinking right. this was their first one. So I've checked back was like, hey, Nick, like you're only one. Big game tomorrow. Too late, boss. Now, now or later, get another one. There's another jug. There's two jugs now. And I'm like, is he taking the piss here? <laughs> so I'm like, seriously, I'm, I'm fucking telling you, this is, it. This is your lot. You, you got to go. Well, three hours later, I got a fucking video. <laughs> <laughs> and it pops up you know in your memories on, on Facebook every year it pops up every year and I can't help but laugh now and it's Dave Minnis and he's kind of in a bar in West End and there's like plants or trees or whatever and he's like like this like a dinosaur right and he's just <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> man like that and he's pissing himself in the background you can tell that they are well and truly oiled at this point <laughs> So I had the, the next one, I was conforming. Like, so the next day, I'm just racking my prints. Fucking hell, I can't leave Minnis out, and I can't leave Brad might have been with you as well. I can't leave them two out without leaving him out. So I went, fuck it, I'm going to have to do it. Left them out. And it was a real tight game, wasn't it? Yeah. And I think... Go on, go on, it, it always is in North Pine, isn't it? We it game one, well. the winner up. Mm. So he whipped this ball in. I think Marek or Nabi, it was one of the two of them, got on the end of it, put it in. To be fair, there's no way I could have played that full game. Like, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I, I was I was raging. I weren't playing, but looking back on it, I was thinking, well, obviously I deserved it, but it was scorching as well, if I remember right. It was, yeah. And I was I was pissing, sweating the wall up, man. It, I, it, there's no way I could have played not a chance of full game. <laughs> that hot. Uh, when Dave Minnis turned up in the reserve team game and I've made a big deal of leaving him out, I was thinking, I've done him a fucking favourite. Hey, you should have played him oh, 90 minutes. Played him? Punishment. Yeah. yeah. But now we, we won 3-2 in now. the end and uh, we won every game after that, I think. I think we, we beat North Pine another two times. Semi-final yeah, yeah. and final. Mm-hmm. Um, but a great season, like great bunch of lads. Brilliant. And then the first Brilliant. year in the BPL the year after where we finished... Mm-hmm. Third, but should have been second. And then we got the points done. Who's that? Because oh, of... yeah, yeah. We'd, uh, we'd done it with a year old. Probably we because of Capalba. When we were 4 0 up. I think we got three points took off us, man. Was it Capalba? <laughs> nah, it was um, Ipswich Knights, I think. Oh, tough. Fucking so... Ipswich. Who would have been fucking nowhere to be seen anyway? Uh, they were no. fourth bottom. They weren't going yeah. down. They weren't. No, nothing was happening. <laughs> Sounds what right. was it down to? Was it, it was because we didn't register the young one, didn't we? Because we, we didn't get his parents to sign a form. Oh, you're not telling me because he was too young. Yeah, because he was too oh, young. Oh, fuck. He was 15, that not 16. Is, that's everything that's wrong. If that's not like a screenshot of everything that's wrong. Unbelievable, isn't it? Australia yeah. is just like... Instead of patting a kid on the back for being a young lad. Mate, you know, that's... Uh, you, when, so you go, when you, you go back... points to, for that. We got... A 4-1 win be became a 3-0 bullshit. defeat. Bullshit. And it knocked us second to third. Because oh, Mitchie was second then, yeah. Is that a way to switch as well? At home? At home. It was 4 at half time. I was, was going to say, there's not, there'd be nothing worse. through the team sheet trying to find someone like that. I was going to say, th- give yourself there'd be no- an uppercut. There'd be nothing worse than going out to Ipswich on a Sunday afternoon, getting a good win and then <laughs> <getting> <laughs> taking off, yeah. took off yeah. Nah, and you got you got Marcus Rashford playing for England at eighteen, and you're trying to hold a boy back at fifteen playing yeah. Brisbane Premier League. Fuck, unbelievable, unbelievable. That's Australian. That's Australian football. That's why we're shit. Yeah, so, <laughs> it's a big part of it. Tom. Yes. I honestly believe if we'd have played, I'm fucking trying to rewrite history. That particular year, had we have played Lions in the first semi. The one that got you straight through at the final. Come on, Benny. Lions had lost to UQ and North Pine in the last two games, I think. They, mm. they'd, they'd fallen off a bit. They played on the 15s team. They also We'd have caught them in that first week. 
hundred percent we'd have caught them better than what Mitchie did. Mitchie went one nil up against them and got beat three one, but I think we'd have, we'd have turned them over and gone to the final. Well, we'd have played them again anyway. Mm. So you I mean, they, they were a good side, weren't they that year? Yeah, they were. Who I won it that year? Yeah. Should have got that form sign, mate. Who what? Who won it that year? Lions won four nil in the final. Oh, league. against Mitchie, hey. Because we got beat off Mitchie in the semi, because that got called off on the Saturday, and we mm. had to play on the Monday night. Remember, Dave Reid had put a spread on for us, a pre-match meal. What was it again? <laughs> Chips. Pizzas and Chinese. <laughs> oh, my God. Game, not game day. Game day, mate. There was... What? Pizza. Oh, um, we had scotch eggs. Pizza. Sausages. Chips. I don't think Dave had asked for that. I think he just asked for... No, 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 no. Because we, we were just like, what, what's this? Like, it was just right. pure fat, shitty food, wasn't it? <laughs> lucky the game got called off that day. Jesus Honestly, Christ. I'm not. I would have been surprised. It wouldn't have been surprised. It was a fucking kebab reel, you know, one of them <laughs> things. Right? It? it was unbelievable. unbelievable. And we had to oh, play on the no. Monday night, but all the lads had gone out straight from Karina League Club. They'd went out all Saturday night, and we played. We were awful one with that Monday night. Aye, Brutal. Hunk, absolutely hungry. Yeah. Got battered three out, and then started want the fight right at the end, like an all in brawl. Was Swithin Bank involved in that one? Oh, man. He, he was on the pitch. Yeah. I think it was Raz and um, it was Raz and someone else started it. Now. Raz an argument, not like Raz, is it? <laughs> I can't remember. It was Raz and so whoever else was down the right hand side of midfield? Was it not Dino? Could have been Briggs. Raz and Dean, Dean, no, it was, was it was Briggs hates an argument too. Speaking of which, can remember when you left Holland Park for a week and a half? Aye, was I was gone when I was filming. Of, I, I was on a Sunday morning and messages from him saying, that's me, done, mate. And I went to bed that before, like, the, nothing the matter. Woke up the next morning and my captain's walked out on the club. Because <laughs> of Noddy. Because of Briggs. Was, oh, little Noddy Briggs. Noddy Briggs. Honestly, the man with the red car. He was, I can't remember what it was. He was having a few drinks. He was being a cheeky, like, as Briggs he is, you know what I mean? But we weren't, I just thought, oh, fuck, that's it. I can't play him anymore. I says he's, he's he's just pissing me off all the time. Well, Briggs is class, man. I yeah. love Briggs a bit. I think it, I, I, I remember where it started from. That the comment. I remember where it started from. We're not getting into that, but I just remember you Family. like being the captain. You hadn't played the game, and you'd said something about like we should be beating them because we got beat. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. And yeah. and he was like, "Look, I'm on a night out. I didn't care, and he, I don't think he meant I don't care about losing. I think he meant." Just leave it. I didn't care, and it, that's what it all started from. And I won't let him. I, I, I give it. I give it the old. You don't fucking care. Nice. <laughs> was. I can remember I had to sit down with you on the dugout one night. I had me push chair and everything. I had the twins. <laughs> with the fucking twins I was like, like "Are you gonna come back or what?" He's like, "I." I didn't want me captain more, and I was like, "You can't have to be captain. Like, I can't take the captaincy off you without an excuse." I all right. I'll be captain then. <laughs> it was. Just, I, I just. I, I think I was just one of them weeks. You know what I mean? Where you're on your rag sort of thing. Yeah. I was just fuming. Yeah. And then once I made the decision, I was like, "Shit, I kind of just come back the next day. Like, I've got to leave it a week." Pride getting I'm, the better of you. I'm sure some sort of like some sort of resilience. I'll say a few no's and I'll say yes. But you know what? <laughs> uh, you know what helped? We we had the bye week, so I was able to let it simmer. For a week, Aye. and then on the Sunday after the next week, get in touch and calm it down. Good, but, uh, good. Um, Aye. good leadership. Yeah, it, was, it was class, Holland Park. Like I think the only thing that let us down was the pitch, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's, well, the pitch is really good now, Dan. Is it? <laughs> mm. It's like a carpet now. Quality. That doesn't surprise me. That now I've gone. Yeah. But uh, they've got um, like, a training facility now. Have they? Yeah, like a local school around the corner, I think. So no one's on phase one. Because phase one's good when it's, mm. when it's done. It's actually got good grass when it hasn't got 300 kids on it. You know what I mean? It's, it's, <laughs> that, that's the only problem. It doesn't have metal poking through from that, the dump underneath. No, it has fucking alopecia. <laughs> and it's got a bit of a fucking... She's a bit on the guns too, you know? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you don't want to be yeah, fucking running up the second half. You don't want to be running oh. up the girl second half. No. It was a... Uh, <laughs> That I think if we had a pitch like Lions had a pitch up, you know, Pen Power or whatever, I think we'd have been even better because I, I honestly think we were that good, Benny. When you look, man, we were. Man, mm. man, we were a very good team. 
I, look, mm. I'll, I'll take a bit of blame. I think if he's had a different coach, I think he's at a bit better. Um, in terms of, in terms of, I was very close to all the lads. Like I, I'm still part of their social group, and mm. I reckon if he's had a Moon or a McNichol or someone like that, I think mm. he's probably what. Come on, mate! Be. Come on, say someone different for <laughs> God's <laughs> sake! No, but all right then. If uh, third. If Milber <laughs> or anyone like that, any of the top coaches would yeah. um, would have won the league with Holland Park that year. What about a Leo, Leo Siriani? Probably. Leo's a bit What's like. Leo doing? Is he still is he still involved in Pen Power? Leo, now nah, he's dropped down to like Cap Two. He's he's going to do Mitchie all over again with yeah. Pine Hills. Is he? Uh, he actually was. He actually, he actually said something the other day, giving you a buzz. Actually, trying to get you back out. Yeah. Who me? He said he, he said he'll open the checkbook. You can, you can work a cash, cashier at Leo's. Yeah. Oh, man, making deli sandwiches. Fucking hell. <laughs> but, uh, Co- coffees, right. coffees. <laughs> That's another team we struggle with. Mitchie, poor. Horrible team. Um, yeah. yeah, we struggle with Mitchie. We didn't struggle, struggle with, with Ben and Jai. We didn't struggle uh, with Mitchie, it was just Ben and Jai. Talk about uh, shit uh, pitches. Oh my god! Yeah, my geez, I'm is, is Benny still up? Is Ben and Jai still there? Nice sign for Pine Hills in Cup Two with Leo. Leo. Oh, with Leo. Yeah. All yeah. oh, right. Package deal. Yeah. He's got him stuck in shell. Eagle player. Eagle player. <laughs> He's a good finisher. Good finisher. Box in um, the box. Just briefly, then. So obviously you came to power, um, mm. and got injured in your first game. I think it was the second half, wasn't it? I think. Or was oh, it was after about half an hour. Was first, uh, Michael Butters. Uh, yeah. Because um, I was flying before then. Obviously, I've signed and everything was great. And f- half an hour in, done my ankle. Was it, yeah. was Michael, you know what? It was right in front of the dugout. It was a similar Aye. tackle to the Diaby tackle, wasn't it? Just caught you on the ankle. Uh, no, what? Well, uh, like I said, it, it wasn't. It was just, I think we both went in to, to win the ball. That's it, wasn't it? Um, and then I never recovered, really. Couldn't shake it off. I was always, <laughs> nah, I was just always niggling and coming back and I could never feel like we'd ping a ball properly or it was, it was just always always bad. And yeah. obviously the, the lads were flying. You're not going to get in the team. It is what it is, isn't it? Uh, I'm I doing think, that about it. Uh, looking back as well, you because we went on that run, it was the year we got the FFA 32 on it. Aye. But you were cup tied. So mm. we were playing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, and the Canale Cup, we, we ended up winning that. So we were playing all the time. And I think you almost resigned yourself to playing that role where you were coming in to help Aye. maybe Richie rest for a game or, mm. or whatever at the time. Yeah. I think if you'd have been fully fit, um, you'd have added loads to, to what we were doing. But... Yeah, we I think a bit, bit of a luxury for power that year, wasn't it? Bringing Dan Smith on for oh, yeah. twenty minutes to whip balls in at the end of a yeah. game. No. It was just it's it was uh, the last five years, isn't it? Really, it's just a, like I say, it was frustrating because you, you, you know, when you went there, you you think people never got the best out of you, where you think people probably thought nah, he's not that good. Yeah, I never really had a chance to, do you know what I mean? Show people what I was capable of there, yeah. which yeah. I always felt. Well, not bad. I kind of love the fact that I got injured. Yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah. I just never felt, you know, my my game with my ankle and all that. It's my left foot. You know what I mean. Yeah. It, it just it's. To be it honest, so I, I don't think it really had an effect on how people would view your time in Australia in, in Brisbane because you no, know, not, not, made not a pretty overall. big mark at Holland Park. Mm. You reckon yeah, as well, much when you got injured, if you'd have just took four weeks out. Oh, you uh, kind of kept playing and kept playing and kept playing. I was never uh, no. You got battered off think, the week after. Uh, I, was, I was making, yeah, I was making it worse. I was just, uh, it was one of them where I was just aggravating it. But when you when you you've just signed for a club, you yeah, you fit, you don't want, you it's don't hard want for it. a player, isn't it? You, you almost that's sweet. Yeah, exactly right. It was um, big news and all, wasn't it? Remember, like on the peninsula and football, Brisbane, the washing line or whatever it was. Mm. I went, like it was just, just plastered. You sort of need to take those that decision off the player. I feel like 
as a, as a player, like when you're injured, like if a coach asks you, are you right? If you're 10% mm. right, you're going to say as a player, oh, I'm playing. Yeah. Just ask mm. Nab. That's, Nabby, Nabby knows. That is exactly my... Uh, you, need, you need, as a coach, I think, like, you need to just say, look, mate. Yeah. You, you no, say, yeah. no ACL, no Bigger play. picture. Bigger so, picture. So, it's, so it's my fault. It's, yeah. it's your fault, <laughs> Benny. What I'm saying is it's your fault, mate, that Dan didn't have a better time of power. All right? It's, it's just it's a, there, I said it. It's Marley Cup. All right, there you go. It's a fact that you've, you know, when you sign for a new team, you, you want to make... Even though in your head you're thinking, I'm not oh, fit. Right. Yeah. Mm. But you think, I need to show them something because they've just signed us. You know what I mean? It was. Yeah. So they were getting like a f- probably a 40% fit yeah. than me. You know what I mean? Which, if you watch my game, what I'm about, it, it's like, you know, it's, it's cutting your bollocks off, really. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm. So. And after after power, that's when you, you went home. Mm. Um, so what are you up to now? You still spring. Yeah, all all over. Aye, just fucking spraying shit everywhere. <laughs> um, I've got a no. I've got like a, a, a decent thing going. Um, obviously not at the minute, I've, because obviously what's happened because you kind of work in people's houses and whatnot. I'm yeah. doing a little bit of commercial work, but um, it was I've, I've been really busy with it. Um, didn't think it would get this busy and, and so good so quick. Um, yeah. I'm doing a, a lot of commercial work, and I've only been going probably. What's two year nearly? Yeah. Um, so it's good, and I think being your own boss as well, sort of thing, helps because you, you know, you I, I don't really like listening to other people, to be honest. Yeah, so yeah. No, it's, good. it's good. Um, well, yeah, you're not playing football, no, nah, I haven't kicked the ball since Australia, never kicked the oh. ball, yeah. Um, I think that boils down to being so busy as well, yeah. Um, it's. Oh, I even thought about playing Sunday League. Yeah. Um, just to just to get kicked about, but I had a few offers to play on the Saturday and that. But yeah, I think up. I'm just I, I'm done with football. Really, yeah. I, like I say, I'm not. I, if I was still in Australia, I'd definitely be playing. I, yeah. I'd loved it then. Yeah. But here, you know, I'm not a type player on a muddy pitch and that, you know what I mean? It's like, nah, it's not like that. <laughs> nah, windy up live and all that. Nah, you leave it. Not for me that way. <laughs> I was uh, I was always good for the first six games of the season and the last two or three. <laughs> Any great, in between. Great pre-season <laughs> player. I Get him in, he's season. flying. Yeah. Comes to Wensdrup, Morbeth. <laughs> nah, leave it. Yeah. The lads have never experienced anything like more. <laughs> Honestly, I'd love to see their faces when they turn up on a pitch like we played it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd, probably, I'd probably be injured that day as well. So, yeah. Some, I mean, yeah. most of the, the pitches now are good. Yeah. 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 Uh, We're so lucky. Like the the conditions we get to play in over here yeah, is just, yeah. and when it, incredible. If it, if it rains for an hour, they call it off anyway. So yeah. yeah. Uh, now we're um now we're blessed. Mm. That's yeah. for sure. I mean, you, the game, the game. Apart from snow here, or a fucking plane landing on your pitch or something like that, that's <laughs> the only way. Do you know what I mean? That's the only thing that will call the game off. Mate, I had, right, you know what I mean? Growing, growing up in Rocky, Norbridge Park, dust had bloody horses escaping from the racetrack running down, across down, the <laughs> down at the Norbridge river. Park. Down well, Callag- river. Callaghan Park. Someone, oh, someone, one of the horses broke through the barriers early and. Shift itself down yeah, to the soccer field, it, down. just running across the footy field. You see, see the clerk of the horse, <laughs> clerk of the course horse, running after it straight after. Oh, brilliant! Did you see Canberra Olympic that um, kangaroo that went jumping across the pitch a couple of years ago? Hey, <laughs> shit, you <laughs> not nabs. The first year was at Rochdale preseason game, kangaroo got stuck on the pitch. Bullshit. Down at Rochdale, calm the Rovers. Not the Rovers. Calm. Are you playing <laughs> Rochdale now as well, nabs? Yeah. yeah. Hey, all of these are Rochdale now. I know. I seen uh, I seen on Facebook. Like I say, yeah. I'm rarely I'm rarely on Facebook, mate. But, um, I seen on a uh, great pitch and all. How you doing, everyone? Tom Carroll from Total Compression here. If you are like me and find yourself running for the fun of it during this isolation period, please jump across to www.totalcompression.com.au or our Facebook page at Total Compression and Instagram at Total Compression to get yourself an isolation pack. Um, Mudge, we'll, we'll finish off and we might have to do two players here. We'll, 
we'll do a, right. I suppose, a pro version and a non-league <laughs> version, an Australian non-league version. So right. the ultimate player, so the best right foot that you played with, the best left. Um, so we'll go through so the best right foot, um, both pro and Australia. Best right foot. I'd probably say James Milner, to be honest. Yeah. People don't realise how good he is. Yeah. And I, I like that's because you know, he, he, you see him as a workhorse and all that, and he played so many positions, but he started out as a right winger and he was absolutely unreal. Yeah. He could whip a ball. Brilliant. Australia. Right foot. I tell you what, Nabby's decent, mate. Like. Nah. Nabby's got a few free kicks in his locker as well, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got free kicks in his locker. He's, that's I. So Nabby will be up there, like. Now he's decent. Um, Rap now. Briggsy. Briggsy's a shout. Abs and Briggs. <laughs> to the twins. You, you know Nabby's that you're upsetting that. someone here. You know that you're upsetting someone here. What, yourself? No. I, definitely not me. Someone who used to live with. <laughs> the moose. Rasmussen will be spewing. Rasmussen <laughs> uh, couldn't get a free kick. Pop- Nabby's got the free kicks. Briggs, he's got probably the whip. Raz has got a ping, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got a ping. Mm, he's got but a ping. Nabby's got that. So, are you going with Nabby? You're going with Nabby? I probably will. Ah, Just because I like the free kicks. Uh, yeah, left yeah. foot. You can't be yourself. Left foot. Richie Herlin. Yeah. Mm, Curlin Herlin. Educated right. left peg, you might say. Yeah. Is that a plug <laughs> dust? Eh? Hey? Is that a plug, Dusty? Educated. I don't know left if peg. you. I don't know if you can see what's on my logo there, boys. But that educated left peg, courtesy of one short. Just thought I'd drop that in there. <laughs> well, I like uh, one left peg. Uh, Richie. To be yeah. fair, that, that year at Holland Park, um, Smudge, me and you whipping those fucking corners in. We were fucking scoring so many goals for him, mate. I think I think most of the goals came from corners. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of goals came from corners. What about uh, uh, pro left foot? Played with Julio Arca. Yeah, fair enough. Definitely. Fair enough. Can't argue. Like. Best in the air? Across there and across, across here? Ooh. Best in the air here. I'd probably say... I'd hate to say it, Stevie Taylor. Stevie Taylor. Unbelievable. Yeah, really good yeah. there. Oh, he was. He was. Yeah. Over there, I don't think I've played with many who's actually you'd look and say brilliant now, but Boydy. Yeah. Vanilla Boyd. Vanilla Boyd. Yeah. I've enough. never seen Boydy really get beat off headed, to be honest. I have. Just, <laughs> I have. Sort of about I eight have. years of it. <laughs> no, right. gets himself well, about in the air, right, doesn't he? Nah, nah, he's good. Boydy's good in the air. Boydy's good in the air. What about mm. uh, pace? Just to so the yeah. pace of someone. Played with yeah, the pace Ali Bed. It was oh, getting quicker than Ali Bed. Yeah, ridiculous. Was it was probably. I mean, I, I'm quick. I mm. think, and then because I smoked Nabby as well when I was racing. <laughs> Remember that when he I did. came back to me? Did. Just he it was only tight. It was tight though. But Ali, I wouldn't like. I don't think anyone will beat Ali in a race. Mm. He was quick. He was a joke, wasn't he? Really. Mm. I wish he stayed longer at Tottenham. Yeah. Just for he, got injured, alone, like. he got injured, mm. didn't he? Mm. So, pro. Oh, yeah. Pro pace. Mm. Can I say someone I've played Again. with? Aaron, Le- Aaron Lennon? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, Lennon's Fair fucking enough. quick. Yeah. Rapid as. Over uh-huh. five yards. Over five yards, he's rapid. Uh, vision. Ooh, Grant Ledbetter. Yeah. And I'll say that when Grant was 16, Young. 17, he had Barcelona and Real Madrid after him. Yeah. So, Good. tells you something. What about Cross here? Vision over there. Just because I'm going to, just because it is, who it is, I'll give that to Raz. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give that to Raz. I, don't, I need to give Raz a mention, he'll be fucking spewing money. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll be messaging me what the fuck you doing like huh. leadership ooh leadership over Australia I'd probably say probably any, anyone 
No, I'd say I think Boydie in a way. I yeah. think Boydie's got a way of, of leading a team without Another boy, a lot. The two lads at the yeah. top here are filthy with this. Nah, nah, we give Boydie uh, a lot. Yeah. Oh, he's, 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 he's one of our best yeah. mates, so yeah, we, we can give him best I, mates. I'll tell we'll you give what, him that well, one. He's me, a pussy. Boy, he's our what, pussy. From what I've seen, from what I've seen, <laughs> Boydie. I'd have him in my team all day long, like yeah, I would as well, mate. He's a, a yeah. highly great boy. I think yeah. Boydie could probably play higher than he thinks. Yeah, definitely. What about back home, leader? Mm. Gary Bring, remember Gary Bring? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Irish international. In the Milan wanted him. Fucking hell, Brainy, yeah. Brainy, finally finisher. Best finisher. Best finisher, Luke Moore. Can you remember him? Yeah. He's unbelievable. Like, at 16, Arsenal, Arsenal Menger gave him a, basically a blank checkbook. And there's a kid called Kyle Nix who's over there. Do you know Nixie? Yeah. yeah. He'll tell you the same story. Nixie played with me. What a left foot he's got, by the way. So, aye, t- uh, Nixie. Nixie's yeah. got a great left foot. Um, and he, he'll tell you, he was, at 16, 17, he was untouchable, like, Absolutely yeah. right. I kind of believe he didn't. If he, I think if he went to Arsenal, things would have been a bit different. Yeah, and across here, Villa finisher. Mm. Boydy <laughs> in cage, maybe <laughs> the outside the the outside the right, outside the left. Uh, over there. I can't say Murray. I tell you, it was a bit. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I tell you, uh, Birdie. In training, Birdie's a natural you finisher. Know what? I was, I was going to say Birdie, both yeah. foot header. He's, yeah, he's, uh, Birdie. He Birdie. has some fucking. How about his haircuts over the years? Oh, <laughs> have you seen that mullet he used to have, man? Oh my <laughs> lord! Um, <laughs> but someone, someone posted the old, like, yeah. the first year of the bread. Yeah, bro. What's he fucking David <laughs> Beckham? What's he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? He looked like a viper, yeah, didn't Birdie. he? Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Good, good bloke, but fucking hell. Oh. Yeah. Some of the hair cuts. I bet he's good for Please. Him. Yeah. Loves a beer. Uh, he's all right with me. No, nah, he's, he's great, Frank. Yeah, I was got night out as well. Betty would be up there for the night out as well. <laughs> I've never had, I've never been in a night out with Betty, you know. Sure. I, I tell, no. I've yeah, never, yeah. apparently he's, lo- he's loose as fuck, isn't he? Ah, extremely. He's a... Great but There's a... Like I say, I've, I only spent a short while at... That pen power, obviously, and that's that's probably why I didn't really, really get to see much of Barry or the lads, yeah. really. Yeah. So, so. Well, I'll tell you what, Smudge, we'll, we'll, we're probably at the end, unless any of the lads have got any right. any further questions, but um, no. we've covered no. quite a bit there. Covered it. Yeah. That's good. Been good. good. Been no. Good to catch up, man. Without a doubt. When, are you back anytime soon, or what? Uh, COVID permitting, it was going to be this year, but... I think uh, that'll be delayed till next year now. Fucking well, I think it's going to it's going to spike again here. I think the COVID. Um, so I think next year, mate. I think I'll be back next year. Right. We'll catch up. Spot. We'll uh, go to a game or something. Mm, happy days. We'll need uh, we'll need to have a catch up, mate. But it's been yeah. good spending, lad. Been yeah, brilliant. Well, we'll be a bit crack. Dan, been fantastic to chat, mate. And Thanks, mate. Um, we'll uh, we'll be in touch. Uh, give it a share. I know you're not on social media, but without a doubt. Might pick up a few followers in the northeast of England, uh, but uh, yeah. no, great to catch up, mate. And uh, uh, good to speak to them. Brilliant. Okay, so cheers, lads. Cheers, cheers mate. Thanks, Dan. Thanks a yeah. lot. Keep, Keep well. Uh, bye, bye. You too, mate.